hello you guys thank you so much for joining me today my name is Cosmina and in today's video you're not gonna see my face you're gonna see all the products that I've used in six months yes six months I did a bunch of um, uh, project pans and I was able to finish a bunch of these things but I'm gonna talk about every single one of them today so hang tight grab water and let's go through it so first of all, I want to start with mascaras. I finished a lot of mascaras, um, mainly because I also had a bunch of them open since last year, but I also uh, made sure that I utilize multiple uh, mascaras in the same time so I can go through them because I don't use mascaras if they're over six months old. Uh, that is a big rule that I have and uh, that's what I did. I uh, try to finish them as fast as possible just so I can go through them and not have them open more longer than six months. So from here, number one I would say is this one from Marc Jacobs. I already have one uh, purchase and is waiting for me to open it up and uh, but I already bought it. The minute I saw this one is gonna go bye bye, I bought another one. So this is the At Lash from Marc Jacobs. Absolutely love this one. It makes my um, lashes beautiful, but not not only cur curling my lashes, but also gives vol volume and also lengthening. Now, second one from this pile is this one from Milani. Highly rated. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's an interesting mascara for sure. I would say for the first two, three times, I didn't like it that much because it's a little bit more in the wet uh, formula and I like a little bit more of a dry formula. But after that, it was absolutely amazing. Very lengthening. I love the lengthening effect of this one. So out of here, I would say the next one would be this one from uh, Lash Princess. This one gives you volume but doesn't give you length. Um, the third one in here, we have the Marc Jacobs. This is um, Velvet Noir. This one gives you um, volume, a little bit of lengthening, but no curl. This one is from uh, Wonder Beauty Mile High Club. I don't like this one for the top. I only like this one for the bottom lashes, and I really enjoy for the bottom lashes because it has a very nice wand that... Um, it's very easy to maneuver for the bottom lashes. This one I don't like from Too Faced. This is a damn mascara. I really didn't like that. Didn't do much for my lashes. I don't know. It, I didn't enjoy it. Um, but next in here we have this one from um, Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think this is Bragg. Yeah, Lash Bragg mascara. It's okay. It's not the greatest. Um, a little bit too wet for my liking, but it's all right so i have two four six seven seven mascaras done in six months let's move on i want to take you to primers i'm gonna take you to primers right now so i finished this one from ordinary <sighs> i don't know if i like this one um so here's the thing. I like it and I don't like it. I like it. Uh, I I, li I like silicone primers and I like uh, pore filling primers, but I feel like this one was a little bit too silicone-y, like it was a little bit too slippery, and I didn't like that. Um, I did try this uh, Milk Hydro Grip, and I already purchased one in a bigger size because I like it. The VDL one, oh, such a beautiful one for the summer. It gives you like that very healthy, glowy, beautiful looking skin, so I really like this one. The e.l.f. Um, a poreless putty primer, not my favorite. It was a little bit peeling. Yeah, I was kind of peeling off from my face, so not not a favorite for sure. The this one from uh, Good Molecules, it's an okay primer, not amazing, but it's okay. Um, 
the becca one i had this one right here uh, again not my favorite not my favorite it didn't do much for my skin uh other than just kind of make it look a little bit more glowy but other than that it didn't do much um and then the two face hangover it was okay but it, i think i i I think because I my face is not it doesn't like coconut water or anything coconut der derived um, and I think I was breaking out from it but it was okay it wasn't amazing but it was okay now let's talk foundation I finished two of these foundations from Becca because I absolutely love this foundation I'm so sad they're leaving but you know it is what it is so this is becca skin love weightless blur foundation absolutely amazing and made my skin look insanely beautiful healthy also it minimized the um pores or the acne scars or anything like that or, you know like the bumps on your face it makes it look like you have nothing on your face and it's so beautiful and i really like this one um and i finished two of them two of them i know it's crazy um another one in here that i did finish everything is this one dream radiant liquid mabel in new york this is hyaluronic acid one uh i really did enjoy this one i have to say i really enjoy it it's not very long lasting but it's really beautiful on the skin very very nice beautiful uh glowing look on the skin for sure and it has more like a natural look it's not very um, it does have some coverage, but it's more like a medium coverage. And the next one in here, this one, it's not fully empty, but it's very close to be empty. Um, and this one is Skin Perfect HD Foundation from Koki. This is an interesting foundation because I feel like this one, you need to uh, wear it a little bit longer to look better on your face. Like when you put it on for the first time, I think it'll, it looks a, bit, a little bit cakey. But once your oil starts showing up, it's starting to uh, melt in your skin and look better. It's interesting. It's a very interesting foundation, but it's also, I, I do like it. Um, but yeah, I had it in my collection for far, far too long. That's why I try to finish it all out. And I, I think I'm like, I, I went all the way until like here. So I'd say that's a good win, you know. Um, and last in here, this is not done. This is where it is. Um, this is pretty vulgar. I had it in my collection more than a year and I absolutely hate it. I don't like this foundation. I do not recommend this foundation. Do not buy this foundation. It's trash. Um, next in here, I have a concealer. I'm so happy to say that I finished this concealer. This is from KKW. And this is in four conceal, absolutely beautiful. I like this one. I know a lot of people don't like um, their products, but this I I can tell you, I absolutely loved it. I used it a lot, and I really enjoy it. All right, let's go to powder next. So I have this powder from Maybelline. This is in light medium. I did not finish this one all the way. It is very close to be done, but I was not going to uh, battle my fight with this one because it has a lot in there but I definitely say this is a nice one it's just that it's a little bit too drying right now for my skin um, now that I'm a little bit more mature my skin is a little bit more mature I have a little bit more wrinkly eyes um, and I use this one for the under eye area and it, I think it's a little bit too drying for me to keep utilizing it but if you're not as old as I am 32 um, this may be working for you really nicely, especially if you have oily skin. Now, another one, this is a favorite, a favorite. I used it all. Oh my God, I'm so happy. Let me show you. Pa -dam, look at that. Such amazing, amazing uh, powder. I love this one. I use this one a lot under the mask, especially when I used to work and... Um, to set my foundation this was absolutely amazing and i think i'm gonna repurchase this not right now because i have a lot of powders but it's absolutely amazing and i love it and i truly recommend that one the next in here is this one from juice beauty the organic solution this was okay um it was a little bit dark for me but it was okay i did i did like it 
um the next one in here is this one from becca i did not like this one this one was the under eye brightening setting powder this one again was very drying for my under eyes and i really didn't like it it didn't set my under eyes uh at all it was just a nightmare i did not like that but i wanted to use it also i did use it um and another one in here that i did use is this one shape tape setting powder um this one is a mini so i did use this one it's okay i like it it's nothing magical though about it it's just an okay powder and then the last thing in here i have a bronzer this is this is the Ulta Beauty Bronzer. I put my head to it to this year to finish it, and I did finish it. And I'm so happy to say that I finished a bronzer. I know it's a very small bronzer, but nevertheless, I finished it. Now let's go through some liners. Um, this one, oh my god, is my favorite. And I want to go and repurchase it. This is the Sexy Booster Kit. I a uh, collection in ultra black from physicians formula absolutely amazing very easy to create a beautiful beautiful wing uh, amazing i i don't have enough words um i didn't finish it all i think it has just a little bit more in there but i had it in for far too long so i cannot use it anymore but I, I'm thinking to purchase another one maybe at the end of the year because right now I do have a bunch of them open. So I have, I'm have i trying to finish some others. But this one is amazing and I totally recommend it uh, from the drugstore. Um, these other three things. Oh, this one actually is a liner as well. This is from um, Private Society Leaning Liner. This is in brown. Absolutely gorgeous liner. I love this one as well. Um... Next in here, we have the Revolution Makeup uh, Revolution. This is a brow product. I I actually finished once, one or two of these. This, But I don't know where the second one is. I don't know, but um, these are really good. I like it a lot. And also this one, I like it a lot from uh, Benefit. This is the uh, Brow Contour Pro. Buy this one from... Um, TJ Maxx because they have it at TJ Maxx all the time. Don't don't buy it don't buy it at full price, but this one is really cheap, so it's it's a good it's a good price. I'm gonna go into those two real soon, but first let's go to the two products that I finished. <laughs> I'm so happy about these two. You have no idea. I have never finished a lipstick before, and to finish that lipstick, uh, it took me a long time. But let me open it so I can show you okay there we go so i tried to finish uh this one as much as i could from there but this is from fenty beauty and i really love her formula this is the mademoiselle collection let me see the name of it it is flush yeah it's thick it's it's called thick yeah this is a mini one so i finished it i it took me a long time to finish that one but i did finish it and i'm so excited to tell you that i did finish it but also this formula is absolutely gorgeous and i also finished this uh, lip balm this is from burst bees and this is the flavor crystal balm and uh, red raspberries i really really liked it it was such a nice one and i i'm thinking to purchase this again because i really did enjoy this one has some uh, a little bit of a sugar on top which kind of gave you a little bit of exfoliation for your lips and then also made them uh soft with the balm on top that was really nice i, I really did enjoy it all right so let's go through these um so these are all the products that i use for my face or body right so let's start with this one clean and clear absolutely love these products from them i like this um this morning burst it's very nice it took me a while to finish it I, I would say like two months or so two three months something like that very nice very re refreshing um especially for the morning um cleanser uh, next in here, I do have this uh, Up and Up Deep Clean Toner. I love some deep clean toners every so often. I need them for my face when I get some acne going on. So I totally recommend these. Um, next in here, I have some uh, 
some makeup removers. I have the Shiseido one. Mm, this was okay. I got it from uh, TJ Maxx. It wasn't that great, but it was okay. It did its job. Now, the one that I think it is a, a major fa favor, <laughs> major recommendation is this one from Lancome. This is the Double Action Eye Makeup Remover. It's amazing. Let me tell you, this one takes your makeup off in seconds. In seconds, you don't have to rub, you don't have to do anything. It's absolutely gorgeous. Very expensive though, very expensive. Um, next in here, I have some Bum Bum Creams. So, from Sol de Janeiro. I love this one. Love, love, love the, the smell, the scent of it. And I also love the hydration that gives you very nice and i also have this one right here i like this one as well with the green tub um for let's see so the wishful one i received it in um what was it advent calendar from huda beauty love this i was so surprised like how hydrating this one is a very very heavy duty very beautiful especially if you are very dehydrated your skin is very dehydrated which my skin was when i put this on insane it just gave all the hydration back to my skin and it looks so amazing the next day this is really good really good from wishful let me see does it have a name I don't see the name, but this, oh, Cocoon Mask, the, the Cocoon Mask, yeah. So, I have an eye cream in here, which was okay, this one from Murad. I did like it because this one was hydrating for under my eyes, so I enjoyed that one. Um, this mask was mm, okay-ish from Pharmacy. This is Honey Potion. I only used how many times i had from it i think like four or five times there's not enough product in there but yeah it was okay i liked it i mean it's nice but the the i think you pay more for the packaging than the actual mask from inside you know what i mean um i had this 111 skin which was okay it wasn't nothing revolutionary but it was nice to put it under your um, makeup um, this thing right here from Bliss was not working well under the makeup, let me tell you. The glow and hydrating, but it was nice for during the day if you would not wear makeup because it actually did um, make your skin very hydrating and plump as well. For this one right here, this is the Calm Water Gel from Dermalogic. I absolutely love this one when... I had breakouts because it would calm my skin down. It was so soothing. Love this one. Um, another one right here is this one that I absolutely love. I bought a bunch of these and I will always repurchase this. This is the Bliss Trench and Quench Cream to Water Hydration. This is the one of the only creams that um, just like kind of melt into my skin and it doesn't peel off. I have problems with a bunch of creams that do peel off on my skin. But this one does not. It is so amazing. I love it. I love it. And I'm always going to purchase it. And um, this thing right here is from Shiseido. Oh, no, it's not Shiseido. It's so Gasho, whatever that is called, Concentrated Ginseng Renewing Cream. This was nice too. I really did like how my face felt, uh, felt after I put this on. So that was a nice, interesting one. I'm not sure if I'm ready to purchase these things because they're very expensive. But it was kind of cool, kind of kind of feeling really nice when I put that on the face. Now this is a shower gel from Versace in Yellow Diamond. Love this, the scent. I did not like um, necessarily how it showered my skin, but the scent is really nice. Um, the thing in here, this is a body lotion. I love this one. It's from Lord Jones. I got this one in a in a boxy charm a while back, and I really did enjoy it. I use it for my hands a lot and my elbows, and it was really really nice. And this is the last thing in here. This is the bed head. 
um i really did like this one it works so well with my curly hair and it smells so freaking delicious i really did enjoy this one as well so i totally recommend this one um as well so let's count to see how many how many uh empties do i gather in six months Forty-five and um, samples. There you have it. This is my big tubby <laughs> of empties, and I'm so glad I was able to get through them. I have to say, I'm not gonna do a project pen for this next month. I need to um, gather my thoughts and everything, and. Uh, wait for a month before i go into another project pen but this is what i have for you today thank you so so much for watching and i will see you all next time goodbye